What's up you guys? Tonight we find ourselves back at the Nawa Night Market. I know that the title is a bit clickbaity, but it is the truth. I am going to eat insects tonight. <laughs> this is not fear factor. This is not a food challenge or a prank. This is just basically me answering some of your questions in regards to whether or not I have tried all the different insects, what they taste like, do I eat them, do I like them, all that sort of stuff. So you're gonna get the answers today in this video. I have not tried all the insects. I've tried a couple of them and I have no idea what I'm in for, but I just thought this would be a really good way for me to answer your questions and probably provide a little bit of entertainment because I have no idea how I'm gonna react to some of this stuff. But it is normal out here. Eating insects is a normal part of the human diet out in this region. So I am not doing anything out of the ordinary um, or being a jackass for that matter. It is normal here and I'm just basically doing a, uh, a food taste, a taste yes. test. Uh -huh. All right, you guys, you're coming along with us. This one's gonna be interesting. Couple, what's that? That's an uh, ant's egg. Okay. And I bought some already, so he can try it. Okay, you guys, I told you I'm in for it. <laughs> uh. You guys, I decided that it would be a good idea to have something to drink to clear my palate or wash down whatever nastiness is going in my mouth. So we are here getting again another Thai tea and hopefully that will make things a little bit better. So we are here at a cicada render. This guy, he's selling this cicada. These are still alive. They are fresh. So I'm not gonna let Dan try this one. They have to be cooked first before we eat it for this bug. This vendor, he has a lot. Over here in the basket, as you see, and over there, behind on his truck. He has a load, truck of it, truck load of it. They don't make any noise. Yes, they do. They're very loud, as you can hear. Okay, you guys, we're at the first table. We have black crickets, we have silkworm pupa, and then we have the regular brown crickets. So I am gonna start with the black crickets. This is the portion that we purchased ourselves. So here goes nothing. So it's, it's not bad. It has a nutty, kind of a nutty flavor to it. And I'm not really getting the bugs and the, the legs and the head. It tastes like mm, just some kind of snack, like to be honest with you. It doesn't taste that bad. So there, there's, um, there's five of those. Not bad. We will try the brown crickets. These are smaller. There are some onions and things in here. So let's give this a whirl. A little crunchier. I'm getting more legs on this one. More um, wings and legs and, and that sort of thing. It's okay. If I had to choose between the two, I would go with the black crickets. These are silkworm pupa. So basically, 
This is the, um, when you've seen the, the silkworm pupa with all the silk around it, this is the worm that's in the middle. This is kind of a nutty flavor to it. It's not bad. I think if I had to choose between the three, these would be my favorite so far. I don't know what I'm in for, to be honest with you, but uh, not bad, not so bad. We also have one more that we purchased from the other vendor. And this one is... These are ant eggs. Right, Apple? Yes. Ant eggs and ant larvae? Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And I actually see one ant in there. I don't know if you're supposed to eat that or not. Yes, you can. All right. This is kind of um, a little bit sweet, obviously more more watery, more fluid, but uh, it's not horrible. There are some ants in there. Not a lot of flavor, to be honest with you. Not a lot of flavor here, but supposedly high in protein, right? That's what they say about just about everything that you don't want to eat high in protein. <laughs> so, all right. Apple, you think we're going to find some more insects along the way? Yes, I hope so. Looking for that um, big water bug. Oh, the big, that's the big challenge. Okay, guys, on for more. I guess I am not going to get away without eating one of those because <laughs> Apple's bringing some home to roast. So we'll do those at the end of the video when we get home. So take no prisoners. Okay, now we found another vendor. She's selling um, grasshopper. Okay, you guys, here it goes with the grasshoppers. Now, I know what I said in the beginning, but this is starting to turn into Fear Factor a little bit. This is a little bit bigger stuff. Here's a nice big giant one. Not bad. There's a lot of legs, a lot of legs, a lot of real crunchy, hard, crunchy bits in this. Mm. We'll do one more. Not a fan, but not horrible. Is there more in this place, Apple? What do you think? We're gonna find more? Yes, we will. Great. <laughs> what it is so Dan will be the one to telling you guys <laughs> I think you guys can tell what it is 
ข้าวกลางนึงนะคะห้าสิบบาท We found another box here. It seems like a, a June box. So then we'll be the one to eat those. Okay, you guys. Now we are up to June bugs of some sort. <laughs> Not bad. Better than the grasshoppers. We'll get a bigger, bigger sample here. <laughs> Not bad, not bad actually. I put this right in the middle. Right in the middle, I guess. She asked you, uh, Aroy Mai, is this tasty? Aroy Mai? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're still looking. Insects. I am actually kind of full from it all, but it is not over yet. We're leaving the night market and we are headed home. Apple still has the bag of cicadas. She is going to roast those at home in our kitchen. And apparently that's for dessert. <laughs> all right, keep watching. It's, there's more coming. <laughs> Different bugs have different smells. Look tasty, ready for somebody to eat it. All right, you guys, obviously we are back at the house. Apple has cooked up the cicadas. So here goes nothing with the cicada. These are some big meaty guys. So let's see how this goes. Kind of weird, very juicy. When I bit into that, a bunch of fluid popped out. It doesn't have a horrible taste, but this one's funky. I'll do one more just because. Mmm. And very chewy. There's some hard parts to this bug <laughs> that are putting up some fight. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna do one more. I shouldn't, but I'm gonna do one more. <laughs> You don't like this one, huh? Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Oh boy. Okay, clear the palate. Oh yeah, that's better. And one more bonus that Apple's putting me through is eating these little quail. She says that these are straight out of the egg hatched out of the egg, haven't fed yet. You can eat the whole thing. 
unfortunately, <laughs> every you eat, you eat the whole thing. So here goes nothing. What is that part? The head. That was the head and the beak. <laughs> but not bad. It. You can do it, man. That was, that tasted like a crunchy, crispy wing, like a chicken wing. Oh man, I'm afraid to get into this. Is this full of juices and stuff? No, actually it will be full of a... Uh... No, don't tell me what it's <laughs> You know, it's like an egg yolk. I think you will like it. What about the claws? Do you eat the claws? Everything. The guts also. That was a little weird too. <laughs> Where's my water? Mm. Okay, you guys, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Wanted to provide you guys a little bit of insight into the cuisine here. And I went a little bit overboard and off topic and tried a couple other things. That is about it. Thank you for watching. You can expect more from DM Exotics in the future. We appreciate all your support and we will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves.